I grew up going to Catholic Church. Um, I was baptized as a baby. I did the First Communion, Confirmation, all, all of the steps that you do as, as a Catholic. Um, but there wasn't really a, a relationship uh, with Jesus. Growing up, I was big into sports and um, did this kind of consume my life through high school. Um, so I wasn't really doing anything bad to say. I just was putting my, my focus on other things. Where I really started to get into trouble was when I went off to college, I didn't have the, the sports taking up my time. And so I, I was trying to figure out, you know, what am I gonna do with this time? And uh, just like a lot of college kids, you know, you kind of fall into uh, drinking, partying, you know, hanging out with girls. And before I knew it, it kind of became part of me. It was who I was. After college, uh, the way my program worked, I had to get an internship. And you could only apply to the internship uh, once a year. So I graduated, applied to the internship. I didn't get it. So then I had to wait another year and reapply. The second year, I didn't get it. So at this point, I was just kind of, I felt defeated. Where my life really changed was the third time I tried or applied to an internship, I got one down in South Carolina. And I think that's where God really, really kind of took a hold of my life because uh, before that is when I hit rock bottom. I just, I was drinking more, I was hanging out with girls, and there was just a lot of shame and guilt. I had a preceptor, her name was Heather Blazer, and I won't ever forget this moment. We were sitting in the cafeteria at the hospital that I was interning at, and she sat down next to me and she was just getting to know me, and she would just talk about God in normal conversation. She invited me to church, and I told her, thanks, but no thanks. You know, I'm not religious. Um, I don't go to church. Um, the next week, she asked me to go to church with her. And, you know, same thing, no thanks. My mom called uh, to notify me that one of my high school friends' sister, who we all hung out with, was killed in a car accident with her child. At that moment, I just felt really alone and um, just separated and sad. I was homesick. Uh, and when I got off the phone, Heather asked me, do you want to go to church with me? I went to church with her uh, that, that first Sunday and it blew my mind how different it was from the Catholic Church. It was a lot like Daybreak, um, live music, uh, the messages actually made sense. You could apply them to your life. At the end of the service, they, they gave an opportunity for people to come up to the front. And I just remember sitting there and I could just feel that pull inside of me telling me like, I need to go up front. And I went up front and prayed with somebody. And ever since that moment, I felt like God put me there and started a relationship with me. Once I moved back home, uh, I started to, to fall back into my old lifestyles, hanging out with, with some of the same friends. I asked around. I knew some friends in the, in the area that grew up here and they told me to check out Daybreak. It was a lot like what I described as the church that I was going to in South Carolina. Bill Clark came and did a message on, on Hope Water. And I knew immediately that that was what I needed to do. I think a lot of it for me was uh, that guilty feeling. Like I, I didn't feel like I was good enough for God. I didn't feel like he would accept me for what I was doing. Um, you know, so there's a lot of just shame, but knowing what I know now, you know, I would say, you know, it's okay. We're, we're all sinners. We're all going to make mistakes. 
Um, there's nothing that you can do that is going to prevent me from loving you.